Good morning, and welcome to Moopsie in the Morning for October the 15th, 2024. And today, the dogs get their medication because it's the 15th, and I always forget until like the 17th. Which I suppose is at least I'm remembering it's a day. Anyway, how's everybody doing this morning? I have an interesting problem. Well, interesting situation. It, humorous situation? It's not a bad thing, but if you look at the screen, I'm on the page of my screen for my ship. And my ship is manifested as Mr. Spoimler standing on a thing. Good morning, Joshua. Good morning, Chris. So I don't know if our bug is back. I, is he in space that way? I have to take a look and see if he's out here. Yep. So he's manifested as standing there for the picture here. Let's see what happens in space. No, it's just that little thing there. There's not even a spoimler here. Well, we've gone from not having ships, but having the captain uh, standing on something, and now we just have the thing he stands on. I wonder how this is going to work. Well, it's not as much fun as when he goes running in space, but I suppose it's something. Definitely not a ship, though. Let's see what we got today. We have Iconian TFOs. How exciting. Both on the ground and play WinGPL playing Doppo. Let's see, and interestingly, I can't beam out of here. I can't get out. That's really weird. Okay, let's try changing character. I'll get out and come back in. Borg ships for five. Alex, I'll take Borg ships for five. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're back to normal. But I still can't beam out. That's weird. Look at this. Let's see if I can move. I'll do transwarp to... What? Well, can't warp up. Okay, to leave the scene, you know how you go up to the thing in the upper left-hand cor corner? It was grayed out. It was not letting me do that. And since I'm here, I might as well play a little doppel. And yes, we can absolutely do Borg ships for five. I wonder if the game is like me, you know, six in the morning, half a cup of coffee down, not really awake yet. Oh, sorry, I wanted to play Dabo, didn't I? Dabo girls, here I come! Woo, Dabo! Spin the wheel and win! What do I have? Good morning, Joshua. Hello. How are you? Good. <coughs> Good. That was a very interesting situation you had there. Yeah, it was in that I couldn't beam out. I could run. I could see my ship. I probably could have gone into a TFO or something. It wouldn't have been an issue. Using sector space. I couldn't beam. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't move my ship. The little doodly dad that we've got that says um, abort mission... Mm -hmm. It was grayed out. Wouldn't let me do it. Oh, crud. How the, how the heck did I do that? How much did you earn? <sighs> I bet 21,000 and won 84,000. <laughs> Go press Latinum? Yep. Yeah. I always bet not my... Bad. Yeah, well, that's all I needed, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see, what's an icon? You know, I bet 100,000 one time. Uh, three 100,000s. I made six million. Yeah, th that's not always what we want. Okay, let me... See. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. Let me... Send some invites out. Send some invites out. That's what I was just going to do. I'm on Ziggy, by the way. I did notice that. My Delta recruit. Oh, I have to put my dog down. Oh, oh I mean, lip down on the ground. Not put my dog down. Oh. I don't know what I did yesterday, but... Yeah, I can't put any weight on my left ankle today, and I'm 
Not owl. happy. Yeah, it is owl. It is well, uh, what I suggest is put weight on it. Mm -hmm. Keep doing it, and you, you, you just ride through the pain. Oh, it's we'll not pain. We'll do a Marshall Tame way. It doesn't hurt. Hmm. It's just a go to put weight on it, and you can feel that the ankle's going. I don't think so. I think we're going to do something stupid if you do that. Well, thank you very much. All right, we need Borgs for five. We learned our lesson about guillotine when we're not in a team yesterday. Not in a good team. So, um... Uh, no. The daily will do just fine. <laughs> Def defense of Starbase, or sorry, resistance of Starbase 1, is that okay with you? That's perfectly acceptable. Okie dokie. Got this you, know, you know one thing I'm trying to do now? No, what? Yeah, I'm trying to put a build on the recruits. Oh, so yeah. they're actually usable. Yep. Because Ziggy was commandeering a Dominion war uh, carrier at one point. <laughs> also, on Sunday we started Sunday morning worship. Um, and then that's when I opened up We Will. We Will. I opened the ship, which is the Carnarvon. It's my typhoon. And with everybody's help, I put on some agony phasers I've had, and I've been running certain missions to mm -hmm. try and get equipment. So it's now got the set from, um, not on EC Allies, uh, Beyond the Nexus. Yeah. So I've got that full set on here. It's leveled up, and I'm slowly putting things in. So this week, I think we'll probably finish up this ship with the, uh, Traits and officers. And again, doing this yeah. with a low level tune, but this is the same account where Ed's got three recruits, and I think he's got some recruits on the other one, but I want to start getting stuff for these guys so they can start, you know. Making you delithium. Yeah, <laughs> there is that, yeah. But then I have to refine it. That's the problem. I have to check into all these guys. Why don't I just buy a lifetime for all of them? There's a lot of these guys there. <laughs> That's a lot of lifetime to lithium. You'll notice that I'm not suggesting we do Draenor Beach Assault. If anybody wants to do it, fine. That's great. It's not high up on the list of my priorities. Your priorities are quite a lot lower than that <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> they don't involve Draenor Beach Assault. That's for dang sure. Oh yeah, this ship is a different configuration than usual. The one you're soldier running? A yeah, the soldier in a secondary hull with the Odyssey uh, saucer with the Odyssey uh, pylons and the cells. Looks nice though. So once I'm done refining a few more uh, Omegas, I put a bunch on to refine, but they take five days. So I've been thinking I'd start building some ice Omegs, but uh, I have to finish these awesome. guys first. And then put One ice mags on the ship, yeah. You're gonna need ice mags for the build that, um, for the disruptor build that I've got. I will put your disruptor build on one of my ships. It has to be on the legendary uh, Bortask. Well, that puts it in my primary account then, because this account doesn't have a legendary. That's gonna have to change at some point. What? Well, this account has no Zen. And I, you know, I'm about to drop some money to get my house renovated. Well, not renovated, but one room redone. And whether I want to buy two lifetime accounts when I'm spending, you know, like fifty thousand dollars to renovate the houses is questionable. <laughs> well, it makes your life easier when you come to do stuff inside the game. This is true. It does. And ease of maintenance is definitely something you need at this point with five accounts. Well, one will eventually go back to its rightful owner. Hmm. When he gets done with his vacations and everything else going on in this life. Are you talking about Ed? No, Ed, Ed's running his own accounts. We have another fleet mate who needed a helping hand for a couple of days during an event. Ah. You know, not everybody is like me and plans their vacations around events. But he can't go any place yeah. in February. It's the anniversary event. I do think that way. So what I'm trying to do with this character is get him up to a place where 
he can use the TOS Connie? Mm. Yeah. No. Or a ship of notable rank. Uh huh. Within Starfleet. Okay. Which is not an Odyssey class. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with an Odyssey class. Because one thing about my leveling tunes, every single ship is a Lexington. <laughs> well, if it works for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. No worries. For a moment, I thought Graz had joined us. No. You know what I need to do? Take a sip of my drink. That's on my list, but my coffee's getting cold. I did turn the heat on last night because I got home from work and it was like 60 degrees in the house yesterday. And the only thing I had the energy for because the house was so cold was to go crawl under the blankets for an hour. Shut the windows, turned on the heat, everything started to get warm, and then as the evening progressed, the temperature went up a bit. Yeah. So I'm saving the pulse phases for another tune. Or well, okay. I may give it to my um, my TOS tune. Yeah. And run them on the uh, TOS conning. Well, I'm finding bits and pieces in all of my accounts of... Well, like these. These are agony weapons that I happen to have. And of course they need to be re reconfigured and leveled up and stuff like that. Yeah. You know one thing? Hmm. I love agony phases. They do seem to be effective. They're not particularly splashy. They're, they're not they're just sexy. Look like they're just look like regular phases with just a different part. Yeah. But you know, things like Zatvash cannons, they've got wonderful sound effects and they're pretty and they're green. By the way, I'll have the money for the 13th anniversary in the account. Oh, within nice. By next Tuesday. Ooh. Well, actually, so, I, I did get smart this year, and I have a couple of bucks every month from, or every week from my uh, main account, just diverted into a secondary account. And now that I think about that, that would buy me enough Zen to get some lifers, and maybe, maybe even a uh, nice ship package. I had thought, but been thinking about starting a new account, but then I thought. Is it really worth it with how much that I'm spending on this account at the no, moment? No, no, it really isn't. I mean, it's fun to have multiple accounts, but to go back and get everything and have to go through all that work again is a pain in the butt. Yeah. Soon I've got, what, 14 tunes at the moment? <laughs> Piker. But only three of them are going to get, you know, all the toys. Hey, Otherwise, speaking... Go ahead. So most of them won't get the high DPS runs that like my three mains will get. That makes sense? Yeah. Well, they'll but, be manageable. Well, what I found interesting is I've made this tune, Spoimler, the primary on this account for the last three weeks. Maybe four weeks, yeah. but yeah. And he had like three, four hundred um, marks on everything. And currently he's got over a thousand, except on Omegas where he's got four thousand. So uh, yeah. <coughs> it's amazing how fast it accumulates when you're just playing it to you know get to other things. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a decent Romulan vessel. Um, There's not legendary at the moment. Oh, okay. Bye. I love me my Romulan ships. I think they're so pretty, but I wish they would do a bit better job on designing them. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to charge me basically a couple hundred bucks for a ship or for a package of ships, I would like them to be good ships. I don't want to have seven good ones and one they threw in. So I was in a contest, a cosplay contest at a Star mm -hmm. Trek convention recently, and they had first, second, and third prizes that were, you know, 25 50 and and $100 and money you could spend at the vendor floor. Fine. But the prize, if you didn't win, was a not autographed picture of Gates McFadden. Which is all well and good, but... Really? The how, how the value is actually a signed variant. Correct. <coughs> and she's already signed my book, so I don't need her to sign her picture. 
I've met a fair number of actors and actresses, and they're like, oh, do you want to get a signed autograph or a signed picture? And I'm like, eh, I know what I look like, so I don't need a picture of me. I know what you look like, so I don't need a picture of you. Because this is actually a derivative of one of the presets that I have for the Odyssey class. Yeah. Good morning, the Sanathi. Is, the only difference is it's got the Odyssey in the cells, not the soldier in the cells. That's what you were saying. Yeah. Let's see if we can make this Borg cube show up here. Come on, Borgy. By the way, did, did you get your five Borg ships? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, how? I got that within the first 30 seconds of this TFO. I know what I can spend some money on, on this account. Is it still worth it to get uh, the Boimler effect? Yes. Okay. I'm thinking of spending the last thousand of giving Boimler effect to my five other tunes. Or when they go on sale. Five tunes that, you know, have paid their worth into the account, shall yes. we say. Oh, yes. See, I don't hand out Boimler effects. <laughs> well, when they're when they're cheap, they're worth handing out. When they're 160 lobby a time, I'll definitely will consider it. Yep. And they have to pay their way into the account, of course. They have to serve their purpose. Well, exactly. I make them earn it. I don't just mm -hmm. hand out things to people. Mm-hmm. Let me clean this out before Sob sees that it's messy. See, now he's flying the I the USS Cruiser. The USS Cruiser, that sounds interesting. Which, the Lexington Dreadnought Cruiser, it's irony. <laughs> Kicking folks from the team, I'm going to switch to a different account. Let's see what we've got going on the other guys here. Let's go check on Bruce Spanner. There we go. Saf, you're making me being, be very focused on my inventory and slots and things like that. I've been doing a much better job. Mm-hmm. Until the day she catches you slacking. <laughs> I never slack. Come on. Let's see. Oh, I've got disruptor damage in space and kinetic damage in space. Let's see if I've got either in this one. Do, 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 do. One. Uh, two. Should I change your ship to something else? Sure, why not? Life is short. Change your ship. Have fun. Now you have uh, several different choices. <laughs> uh. See if I've should I give him the legend? Anything I... else I'm gonna put on there? Should I use the USS Madison? Oh yeah, the legendary command exploration cruiser. You should do it just because I was shooting up the Madison last night when I was doing Beyond the Nexus. So perfect ship then. Yeah, it really is. Now, what type phases should I put on her? Blue, purple. Blue. Blue's always good. So if it's like the principal in Back to the Future, I know a slacker when I see one. It's not me, Soph. I've been working hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can run dual torpedoes. That's fair enough. Let's see, do I have any disruptors on this one? That would be a good question. I do. Start a flight, uh... Where you got my mind's on there? Let's put that one there. Well, all I need for this one is something in space, or perhaps several things in space. We'll add a photon torpedo at the rear. 
because why not? So Saab today is a not working hard day <clears throat> at work. But Wednesday, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is working hard at work days because my boss needs to take some time off this week. It turns out her grandkids are on what they call fall break. I mean, they've only been back to school for... Oh, okay, they've been back to school for two months, so they have a week's vacation. Come here. Come here, you little evil health spawn. Come here. Come here. So she wants to take some time to be with them, and you know, she's entitled. She's got like 600 hours of PTO available because she never takes any time off. She's doing the, well, I'll check in. No, just take the time off. Uh, what skin should I use for this ship? The one that you like. Always. So, so you have several options. Okay. The Ross plus. Oh, I do like that one. Yeah. It's an Ed. Good morning, Ed. Of course it's an Ed, because he always has a sound effect when he enters. It, well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. I know exactly where he is when he comes in. And exactly mm -hmm. who it is. I don't even have to go look at the screen. Yeah. Yes, there yeah. is a Rasul here, too. But he's not here. He's here. In the game. Yeah, I think... I think I'll keep it as the Ross class for now. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm doing as good as it was 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Three minutes. Uh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. Heard of that. Uh, hell no. Uh, get out of here. Eh, yeah, we'll do that one. Or ground. How would you like to do into the hive? It's ground. Yes. Yeah, Chris doesn't do ground. Much as I like into the hive, it can be fun. Chris doesn't do ground. So we won't do that this morning. That's a whole different story for another different day, then. <laughs> yeah, Chris is coming. Ew. Well, technically, it's well, you. Do something space pew pew that I can get some whole heels in. Yeah, absolutely. Chris, what do you need? What do you need on your list? Because I just need space damage. My dog's doing her dog pool imitation right now. One more Voth ship in the battle zone and disruptor damage. Well, disruptor damage I can help with. Battle zone is battle zone in. Uh, I need 500,000 on my kinetic, so that's going to take a few minutes. Something longer than average. What have we got? Get him a Vortex? Elite? No. This. You'd be having to carry this tune if we go to Elite. What have we got that we haven't done lately? If I was going to do that, I would swap back to my main and absolutely decimate the TFO. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, that was getting boring. Don't need anything here particularly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my engineer. I have a new setup for all my engineers. Uh, Chris is suggesting Jupiter Erratus, which actually is a good good bet. That is a good bet. That is a good one. Let me know when you guys are ready, and I will hit the magic button. You hit that magic button. Magic button engaged. Ooh, high, high yield quantum torpedoes. Yes, please. So I think I'm going to have to fix up the Grunt Master next time around. Oh, we don't have a lot of Starship traits. Obviously, he doesn't run much here. We have some work to do on these tunes. Ed, do you want to join us?
I'm going to clear the queue and requeue it. Since it's been <coughs> known to kick people out when they're not in there. Wee woo? Wee woo? A wee to the woo? Yep, 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 yep. So I was planning on repainting, re repainting the wall in my bedroom. Then I'm thinking, hold on, I'm planning to get that whole thing demolished in a couple months. But it's a couple months away. So is it worth it to repaint the wall and have it look nice for the next three months? That's your personal decision. Yes, you yes, it's a difficult decision. I admittedly, with just the primer up there, it looks pretty decent compared to the dark gray that it was. I don't even have this ship fully kitted out yet, and she's already looking pretty good. There we go. She's still missing six consoles. <laughs> but I haven't put all the ships on her. On him yet. Well, are you going to be able to run this without consoles? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've redone my UI again. Yeah, this I've one... Made it <laughs> For you won't like what I've done. Oh, I actually do like to watch what people do. I actually made it smaller. Yeah. But it also looks more cinematic at the same time. So, yeah. Here we go. Get some stuff out of the way now. Woo! It's not the Kobayashi Maru. It's another Enterprise? Yes. The rosters look good, even though... Mm-hmm. Alright, well. I still think the Ross class in the, um... In that one, you know, that blue, uh... That one mission... Yeah? Still looks good. Yes, it does. So what's it flying today? Uh, it's the uh, legendary uh, Defiant. Yeah. Maybe after this TFR, I'll take a screenshot and post it. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. See, I'll go over to Alpha. Beta. Actually, I can can do it now. Beauty shots are a thing. <clears throat> uh, in which section of the Discord I get posted? Um, it's your ship picture, put it in ship builds, or put it in, um... <coughs> Are you following? You can put it... Oh, excuse me one sec. <coughs> or you can put it in data's gallery. Well, I got my disruptor damage. Posted in Data's gallery. Oh, I just want to shoot that guy. Do we get extra points if we can shoot him successfully? Mm-hmm. Mom has to put you down. I love you, but you are way too heavy. Oh. How heavy is the dog in question? She's like eight pounds. No, that's not true. She's six pounds. 
But I've got my leg crossed with my knee out and unsupported, so basically she's just putting weight on it and pulling the hip out. Uh, Which is great for my flexibility, but it's uncomfortable. I have my damage. I've got zero hull healing so far. Uh, you know what? If Do you have your shields on? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Your shields are good enough that they're keeping your hull from taking enough damage to heal. Uh. If I really want to do hull repairing, I'll drop my shields and my deflectors and make sure I've got everything ready to go. Especially if you've got, like, um, emergency. Or what is it? Miraculous repairs. Yeah. That's a nice one. It gives you lots of healing really fast. And Rally Point, if you've got that one, drop that. I oh. also this character does not have most of that stuff, so... Okay, do you have any repairs? Yeah, I have Engineering Team 3. Okay, then we can go do Ruins of Doom and you can just sit there and take damage for a while. Year Old Infield! That's a message! And how are you today? Which one? Somebody in chat, first time chat, named year underscore old infield. Ah. Sent a message. Hopefully they're not a spammer. Because that means I'd have to tell Pi to fix his spam bot. Because every now and then the spammers figure out how to beat the spam bots. Yeah. And then he has to go and figure out a new way to defeat them. He keeps him on his toes. Are you sure about that? I bet you they will. Oh, I've destroyed 20 Federation ships. Woo! Technically, the Terran. That's not what it says. It says Federation. We've locked down the projectors. See? Now they're ours for good. You still here, Grandma? Ugh. I thought our Janeway was annoying. Speaking of annoying, did you like the little back door I put in your station? Enterprise is back there for Yeah, Tilly, you're down to 40 points. That's what it said, Chris. Thank you, Sav. I'm already halfway done because of what you said. Yeah, I mean, the only way you're going to heal is if you take damage, and if you've got good shields, you're not going to take damage.
How are you doing on that damage? On the whole healing? Yeah. Well Only 40,000 to go. How many did you need? 150,000. Ooh. Okie Not bad, not bad. Not bad, no, but we should be able to do better than that. I'd say I have Onslaught, but that's pretty much if you don't heal yourself instantly, you're dead. Um, what do you guys suggest? We need to get some more damage for him. Or Fez? <laughs> get out of here. With that treacherous uh, hey. comment. Hey, uh, at least I'll definitely give you the damage you need to heal. It, it yeah, will but definitely give him the damage he needs, as we all die repeatedly. Yeah. Get out of here with that treacherous comment. <laughs> would, you like to, would you like hey, to join us, yeah. Chris? Sure. Uh, you hit, you asked, and I answered. This is true. I rather do gravity socks. Oh. oh. Confess. It's in Kathy Front. That's a good option, Chris. Can we take a, about a 90-second break so I can run down and get some hot coffee? You, I will you be, can do it, Janeway. Ow, 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 ow. I'll be right back. Good morning. Taking a few changes to the build. Ah. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready and I will queue us up for St. Kathy Front. Really? Oh, today's coffee is The Beast from Grounds and Hounds. Where every cup saves a pup. It's actually amazingly good coffee. I haven't had this one before. It's a dark roast. Ready when you are. With hints of chocolate, marshmallow, and a vanilla. 
And I don't know what that means because it doesn't taste like any of them to me, but I'm just drinking this stuff. There we go. This is private, so we won't get a wee woo. So, how are you today, Obi Wan? No we will. No we will today's. Since nobody's volunteered to be my uh, guest of honor tonight, we may wind up spending the evening playing random TFOs. You were saying grass before I so rudely interrupted you? Uh, is this advanced? Yes. Okay. This tune can't do elite. No, Not yet. Yeah. Well, okay, this tune can't get licked in the hand while we're doing that too. listening to an interview last night with Henry Cavill talking about his custodies armies. It was so nerdy and lovely. I hate dots. Dots? A uh, damage over time. Ah. Yeah, they, they prevent me from launching the, the dang bomb. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got bombs, I'll just stay here and look pretty and watch the star base. I have an army that my son bought me for Christmas last year that, knowing I was moving, I didn't open it up, and I still haven't opened it up. Now I don't have a place to paint at the moment, so... Mm. Oh, I have a bomb! How'd I get a bomb? What the heck? You shouldn't give me bombs. I'm in... I'm inept! I'm aiming for the southernmost one there. <laughs> it's a surprise yeah. bomb. <laughs> I was listening to a review of the Acolyte today, and it was very interesting because the guy was doing it in comparison to uh, a, a Star Wars Christmas special. Going from what he considered the worst of the Lucases to the worst of the non Lucases. And it was pretty funny. Which one uh, is like, I assume everyone wants to watch the Christmas special over the Acolyte. What, he was being very honest about everything, you know. No sugar coating that this is utter suck and this had anything great. But there are some great scenes of, as he described it, Carrie Fisher coked out of her brain trying to do something, like walk, unsuccessfully. Oh no, there's some redeeming factors to the Christmas special. Mm, yeah, there are actually. Compared to some of them, yes, there are. Uh, B. Arthur's uh, cantinas, definitely a good uh, 
segment, uh, as is the cooking segment. Oh. I have the bomb. I've been trying to destroy these things. Okay. Oh boy. Are you over by the dreadnought? Yeah, you yes. are. Yes. Let us go to the dreadnought then. We're on our way. Grass is already over there. No, oh, I don't have anything. By the way, how's your hull damage doing? Complete. <laughs> well, go blow up that thing. Yay! Huzzah! We have completed it successfully. Sav says Eklai was hot garbage. No, 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 Sav. It, when garbage gets hot, it starts to, while well, it decomposes faster, it also kills off a lot of the pathogenic uh, microbes. So it, it's more like warm garbage where the microbes are growing it, crazy it fast. Also, usually just hot garbage usually stink. Even more. Yeah, it does that. Chris says, it's misunderstood. You don't know. This is so true, Chris. So true. What next? Graz, what have you got on your list of things that need to be accomplished today? Uh, Drenor Beach Assault, <laughs> and then all the... Yeah, also, Restore Damage Shields, Anti Proton, and Tetrion. Spacey all stuff? Ground. Oh, all ground. all ground. What the heck? Well, that sounds like we might have to do Drenor Beach Assault tonight. Oh, here you go, evil hell spawn. Oh. I need to get you a bed up here. That's what I'll do. I'll move your bed in here. Then you've got a place to sleep besides my lap. I have two captains on the ground. That doesn't count. Uh, 30 Borg that, ships. What do you need it? 30 Borg ships. Oh, no. And, and there's a team of us who are competent. You know what that means. I take offense to that term. <laughs> hey, I recognize, or I resemble that remark. Wee woo. Wee woo. After yesterday's debacle of a guillotine, let's see if we can do a good one. I was in the middle doing an endeavor. That's why it has not been accepted yet. Oh, okay. I ain't now done. Alrighty. <laughs> I'll be honest. No, yep, yeah, yeah, that's fine. <coughs> that means all all endeavors have been done apart from Drenor B. I've gotten a uh, few done on a few accounts, but I'm fine if I do one and then I go work for a bit and then I come up and do another one, I go down and work for a bit on whatever. It works out very nicely. <sighs> So I've been pl playing around with, you know, how do we fix the acolyte other than just burning it to the ground and starting from scratch. And having gone over it now three or four times, burn it to the ground and start from scratch. But there's a good story to be written in there. It, they, they, uh, probably about the only good thing is the idea. Well, no, I think the idea is terrible. <laughs> I mean, what is the idea? Okay, okay. I have no clue because all I've heard about is the uh, it's crap. Well, the thing is, there's no clearly set up concept. It very much feels like they were writing. They had ten teams of writers. Everybody was writing a different one. They had to tie them together, but they didn't have to have a single cohesive plan. So everybody was just throwing in something there, and then they would try try to tie it together. And they, writers didn't have a really good grasp of the history of Star Wars. They didn't know the people. They didn't know any of the Star Wars universe. And so it gets very hodgepodgey. So what is the concept behind the Acolyte? There isn't one. So give it a plot. So we came up with an interesting plot. We also figured out what an Acolyte is, because it's not what they think it is. No, no, Sav, you're 100% right. They hired writers based on DEI instead of talent. They bragged about it before the show aired, and nobody knew anything about the show. The movies. 
the books. Any of it. And they didn't care. The guy who was doing the review, though, said he was uh, uh, impressed with the... What's his name? The guy from Korea who learned enough English to be able to do most of his lines quite well. So he did part of the review in Korean, which I'm sure he mangled the language about as much as the guy did for uh, English from Korean. What the heck? That was pretty cool. I don't think I'd try doing a Korean review. Chris, the argument is, oh, but they'll have a fresh take. Which, as we can see from Deadpool, taking having a fresh take on something that has been around for a long time and that people love doesn't necessarily work. Yeah, so there's fan service, but you know what? We'll pay for fan service. Not every time, but sometimes. All right. One to go? Nope, it's gone. Oh no, there's still another one, isn't there? Come out, you little dimensional thing, you chopper. Where are you? There it is. All right, I'm heading for two. Oh, send the sentinel. Go to six. Okay, since so Chris got one, I'll take care of five. Well, Obi Wan, you can't just have fan service, much as it's fun, but it does get boring if every single movie is just fan service. And then people will stop going to it, because that's all it is. But once in a while, you have to do it. Wow, do I have any saves on the ship lift? Yeah, apparently I do. Alrighty. I think as the Acolyte had come out later after we had gotten, you know, a more rounded uh, High Republic movie, it made more sense. I, I still think it lacked from good writing. And if you're not oh, yeah. going to have good writing in it, then it's not going to be able to do it. So, But it would have had the advantage if they had taken time to understand the nature of all the characters, the civilizations, the cultures, the lore. They could have turned it into something better. Now, I'm not even saying the actors have to get it, but the writers have to get it. Because, yeah, that actor who said, Anakin destroyed this uh, Death Star. We're all doing the, huh? Universal cringe. But, okay, he's an actor. The writers have to get it. I've left President Data's gallery. I'll go take a look at that. <coughs> or well, I'll go take a look at that. Two's almost there. And two's up. I'm aiming for three. I'll start it off. Another is to and I'm going to kind of ro roam around here and start okay. clearing the field. Well 
And I've started three. Thank you, Chris. I hate it putting debris warps in. <laughs> so messy. Or in this case, uh, dimensional transitions in. Those all disappeared, Grass. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. Wow, that was a lot faster than yesterday's. So, Obi-Wan, regarding what JJ had in mind for Star Wars, I'm sure he's got his notes someplace. Oh, that was so much better than yesterday. <laughs> Soft says, I just realized my main fed is 136 of 138 costume slots filled. That sounds like Sof. But you know, they do go out of style. The thing I want to do next is I want to make a tune that actually looks like Ed. Except I don't think we have a s glasses option. Sunglasses, yes, but glasses? No. Both uh, Kirk's glasses and uh, Ovid's glasses. Wow. There are glasses in here. All right, Sav, what did you put in Data's Gallery? Let's take a look here. Wow, some great images in here. Oh, Joshua, that looks very nice. Mm-hmm. Keybinding costumes. Wow. Holy moly. Do you do that in real life too, Sav? Have that many costumes? Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. She maybe has 365 costumes. I have a small closet and I'm going through it going, I never wear these clothes now that I'm not working as much. I wear a pair of jeans 
And since I only go into the office two or three days a work week, I have two to three summer shirts and two to three winter shirts, and the rest of the time I put my hoodie over it. Hey, some of us have allergies to whatever the heck that medication is, and we have to wear glasses, Chris. Let us not forget. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Not that I have to go to work, but I'm. we have things to do today. We've got stuff to do. We will be back on tonight in roughly 12 hours. If anybody would like to be my guest tonight, great. If not, we're going to do random TFOs and Renewer Beach Assault. So either way, we'll, hopefully we'll see you in about 12 hours. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And as we like to stay, say around here, are you ready yet? Stay moopsie. 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 Sean the non-believer. Sean. Sean.